Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you this unknown FC69 20 watt preheat circline bulb adapter. Now, I got two of these at the same restore for $3 each, and um, as soon as I saw them, I could not pass it up because, of course, it was preheat. And for such a low price as well, I got two of them. Uh, they had a whole bunch of them there, but I didn't get um, all of it at the same time since I had to buy bulbs from them, and I didn't want to spend too much in one day, but. I'm probably going to go back and get the rest of them since they're pretty neat. Now, again, it's unknown, so I don't know what the manufacturer is or who made this specific adapter, but you can see it's a plain white box. Um, that's all that's on it, it's just that model number. I think that's a model number. If anybody knows what number that is, please tell me because I'd like to know the brand of this adapter. So, of course, it's just a white box, so we will take it out of the uh, box here since there's nothing on it. And here's the actual adapter itself. So we have some writing on the side here just telling you what to relamp it with. And over here we just have your standard little caution label. Um, the base is fairly good quality, but I've seen better. Works. It doesn't have any bad connections. Surprisingly, this thing didn't come with arms, which I think you can buy separately, but I'm not sure how the bulb is supposed to stay on without arms. I'm pretty sure you can buy them separately again, though, but... Anyway, that's the top of it. Here's the connector that connects to the bulb. It has a little argon starter in there. That's why there's only two wires going in. And there's four connections going out for obvious reasons. It has a argon starter in here. So, anyway, there's not much on the adapter. So, we will get our socket here. We will screw it in to the adapter here. And we will get the bulb. Now I'm just going to use this um, circle line bulb that I have laying around. So this is the bulb. I have made another video on this quite a while back. If I can find the etch on it for you. There we go. It's unknown brand as well. So here's your label. It's cool white. So anyway, we will connect it to the adapter. Now I don't know if it's powered up already. Let's just plug it in really quickly. There we go. So it's kind of hard to get in. But anyway, we will get a close-up of the starter. Okay, now so we'll just flip the switch. Now the starter in this thing is very, very good. It almost starts up like one of those electronic starters. There's no blinking involved with this light. So we'll shut it off and turn it back on so you can see what I mean. See, it just starts up right away. And there's a little argon starter in there. See that? I find that quite interesting since it has an argon starter. So anyway, we will shut off the light so you can do a brightness test, of course. So it is very bright, of course, because it's 20 watts. And it is providing a lot of light. Now this camera is really zoomed in. Let me just zoom out a bit so you can see. So there you go. It's lighting up this these boxes very, very nicely since it's cool white. Let's turn it on and off one more time since um, we can look at it far away. Here we go. So we'll turn it off. And we will turn it back on. See that? That's exactly how a pulse starter starts. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of my unknown FC69 20 watt preheat circle line a bulb adapter. Thanks so much for watching.